Hi Kindergarten, Mrs. Savage here. I wanted to read you a story by one of my favorite authors. Her name is Laura Numeroff. Now, when we were still in school, we did read a couple of these stories together. So I wanted to let you know that she has a whole collection of books, all with the same idea. Okay, so today we are gonna read the story. If You Give a Mouse a Brownie by Laura Numeroff and it's illustrated by Felicia Bond, okay? If you give a mouse a brownie, he's going to ask for some ice cream to go with it. When you give him the ice cream, he'll ask you for a spoon. He'll start drumming on the table. Drumming will get him so excited, he'll want to start a band. You'll have to play guitar. He'll want to put on a show, so you'll have to build a stage. Then you'll need some spotlights and a microphone. When the stage is finished, he'll want to make lots of tickets. You'll have to find paper and markers. When the tickets are done, he'll decide to make posters as well. He'll hang them all over the neighborhood rock concert. When he's out hanging them, it might start to rain. He'll fold some posters and make a little boat. Then he'll sail it in a puddle. He'll get so wet he'll start to sneeze. You'll have to put him in your pocket to stay nice and warm. When he peeks out of your pocket, he'll smell something delicious. The smell will remind him that he's hungry. You'll have to take him to the store and get a few things to nibble on. Of course, he'll want to have a picnic. When the sun comes out, you'll have to take him to the park. And while you're setting up the picnic, he'll see a playground. He'll jump on the swings. He'll go as high as he can. And when he looks up at the sky, he might notice a big white cloud. The cloud will remind him of ice cream. He'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if you give him some ice cream, he'll want a brownie to go with it. The end. So in this book, we think about something called sequencing, and that's just the order of things. So I want you to think about the order that this book goes in, okay? Every time something new happens, it makes him think of something else. And if that first thing hadn't happened, there wouldn't be a whole list of things for him to get distracted by, okay? I will be checking in with you later with another read aloud. Have a good day.